All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who were well and has been laboring in this truth for decades. Salutation and much love to the rest of Yoakim, pushing out his word in truth and sincerity. The salutation as well to the rest of the elect. Great mold to the men, women, and children learning the truth and sincerity. And, um, you know, it's just uh, Brother Hodge with another walk and talk, Lord's well as well as edifying, exhorting to the hopeful elect. And, uh, you know, just meditating on completely trusting in, in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Are right, you going to have to have full, complete trust in the Lord in these last, I mean, you should already be getting there, or if, if you aren't already, you know, trusting, you know, full, having full assurance in what you believe in, but if not, you better get it on, get on it quick, because we're entering into a time where it's the only possible way out is through the Lord, all right, you, to the carnal eye, it's going to be situations that, you know, you're through, no escape, but through the faith, all right, that the Lord has given unto to the believers, all right, which is a gift from the Most High. You'll be able to escape the, the, the perils that are coming upon this place. But you're really going to have to trust in the Lord and call upon him. That's, all, that's what it's going to take. I mean, it's not much the Lord is asking for. He's asking you to believe, have the faith, trust in him, and then call upon his name. But when life... Or when death is presented, all right, the outward temptation comes. You know, shit's not. It's gonna be a completely different world. Your children might be starving if you have any. Your woman bugging out because she's hungry. Your family turning you in, or whatever the case may be. All hell is going on, and persecution's full blown. Will you trust in the Lord then? When they, when they, you know, present you before the guillotine. All right, or will you still hold fast until your faith? Then, you know, and that's why we have to pray that we endure unto the end, whatever that may be for us. Like Mark thirteen thirteen says, "He that in, you shall be hated for all by all men for my name's sake, but he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved." So we have to endure to whatever end that is, and if you do have to be beheaded, that could, you know, people could see the faith. And the the conviction and the trust that you have in your Yahweh Yahweh Shai, and then be converted right there. You know, people see you be beheaded for the name of the Lord. That could possibly wake them up to the uh, to the, to becoming a believer. You know, or you know, I mentioned this a lot, but the guillotine comes down and it breaks. The Lord grants you spiritual powers, but if you don't trust Him. That's not even a possibility. You know, if you're not working on your relationship with Yahweh Bakshim Yahushai and praying to him, you know, doing his will, you know, walking the best you can in this in this flesh, then you're not gonna be, you know, even a, a candidate for spiritual powers. The ones that the men of the Lord that are truly, you know, Making their call and election sure. Those are the ones that are going to receive power from on high. Because they have full they have full assurance of what they've been doing. You know, we're not, you know, Lord's will be part of that number. We're not, you know, sitting back wondering if this is what, what we're supposed to be doing. Or if we, should we continue? No, we're, we're you know, hunters full speed ahead. You know, full send. We ain't got nothing else in our sights but the finish line. We don't give a damn what people got to say and how they feel. As Romans 3 and 3 says, so what if some did not believe? All right, our sights are on the prize. Eye on the prize. We see the finish line and we're going for it. All right, so we, you know, as the scriptures say, we, we have an expected end. All right, we hope to be part of the elect. So we know what comes with that. So yes, we you know part of the you go into the word hope. One of the words in the definition 
is ex expectance or to expect. We expect to be delivered. You know, the most high is not unrighteous to forget thy labor of love. We're not doing this for no reason. We know that it's our duty. We must do this. But we also understand that there's a reward for doing it. Because not everyone's going to do it. All right. The harvest is great, but the laborers are few. All right. So we're going to keep continue to strive for the truth unto death, as the scriptures say. And, and prove ourselves unto the Lord so that we may be found worthy of salvation and worthy to be taken care of during this time of evil. All right. That's going to be a miracle in itself, surviving it through uh, throughout all this death and destruction that's going to be taking place. Like the scripture says, there's going to be a thousand on one side dying, 10,000 on the other side, but it shall not uh, come near unto thee. Roughly paraphrasing. You know, so the Lord's going to have people getting jacked up all around us. And you have to have the faith and just know, not hope. I wouldn't just like, you know, hope, um, not, uh, uh, you know, I think it's going to happen. Like, no, you have have the hope, have the faith. Know that the Lord's going to take care of his elect. All right. Don't question it. Just know it's going to happen. And believe it's going to happen. And hold fast unto what you know is right. Which is as uh, obeying Yahweh Yahweh Shai. No matter what Edom tells you, all kind of BS that he pushes out, it's witchcraft and you know deception. Don't believe none of it. I mean, Esau will tell you the truth here and there in the news, but for the most part, man, stick to what the scriptures say, and, if, and measure everything and filter everything through the scriptures. It's, you know, so if it's not according to the scriptures, hey, don't 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 go down <laughs> for help for him, because Esau, man, he's gonna play on the the minds and the emotions of the people, and the ones that don't have a relationship with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they're gonna fall for it. They're gonna be duped into whatever nonsense Esau got coming, and they're gonna be willingly taking the chip. All right. Again, when that time of temptation, hour of temptation comes, you're going to really have to trust in the Lord because that right there is going to cut you off from all of society, from everything. And you'll be persecuted. They'll be trying to deem you as a terrorist. Why don't you want to identify? Can't use money. Can't do this. Blah, blah, blah. You're really going to have to have trust in the Lord because what you going to do after that? Can't work. Can't, you, you know, you won't be able to pay bills. You won't be able to buy food. Can't even drive the car because you can't register it or get gas. So you're going to have to trust in your how about you shy. And we know, according to the scriptures, that his servants shall eat. And there's going to be times that it's going to be like, damn, you might be in a situation where I'm like, damn, did, am I a man of the Lord? Did the Lord forsake me? Or, you know, even your how I had that thought. You know, he was like, hey, let this pass from me. As, like, why has thou forsaken me? But hey, he knew he had, he had to do it anyway. And that's the mindset we have to be in. It might seem like you're, <laughs> you've are you been abandoned, but just know the Lord is, is testing you because he knows you can make it through that. And we have to always remember that the Lord will never give us nothing we can't handle. All right, so in, especially how much more in these last days when the Lord is about to show his glorious, marvelous works. All right. And he's going to use his men to do so. He's going to use his people as battle axe, weapons of war. Okay. And he's going to use the very men that are that are just reading Bibles right now. As Jeremiah says, 16. And turn from fishers to hunters. <clears throat> but if you don't trust in the Lord, you're going to be one of the ones that's being hunted. Or by a troop. By a plague. A missile, all right, starvation, whatever the case may be. If you don't fear the Lord and have the faith, you're gonna you're gonna be entering into a world of hurt in these last days that that we've entered into, and it's only gonna get worse. And when the day of the Lord appears, when the Lord appears, all right, and the missiles come flying, that that's it for you, all right. 
No more room for, for repentance. So the, the doors of repentance, so that yeah, you may receive salvation, they're getting close to getting sealed. All right, just like the doors on the ark during the time of Noah. It's about to start raining, you know. <laughs> this time it's going to be fire. And if you don't want to be tortured and tormented by that, then it would behoove you to get on board on your How About Shimmy Outsize program. Stop putting every, anything, anything I say before this word. All right. You have to revolve around the truth, not the truth revolve around you. So with that, Lord's will, this was edifying. <clears throat> so like it. Lord's will, that was edifying. Until next time, I say shalom.